Hello everyone and welcome back to your own channel Technical Sahil. In this video we will transfer all the emails from our one gmail account to the other gmail account. For example I have these two gmail accounts uh, which is uh, the first one is support at the rate hostrigger.net and I have this second gmail account which is payments at the rate hostrigger.net. So I will transfer all the emails uh, from this account to this account without any data loss so we can see that's our source and that would be our destination account so how do we do that first we simply need to log in to both of our gmail accounts which i already did now let's go to the account settings first click on manage your google account click on security tab if you have not enabled your two-step authentication verification so first you need to enable 2FA by clicking here here you need to enter your email sorry the mobile number which you can verify by providing the OTP let me enter it fast I have enabled the two-factor authentication on this account. Now what I need to do is uh, search app passwords here. This one, app passwords. Create any name of your password. Let's say I will give it transfer. And click create. Now save this password in a safer place. and click done now you can close this settings and now click this all settings click on this forward and pop imap enable the pop for all emails and if you want to use the account as it is you are just transferring the emails to that account as a copy so you can choose this option if you want uh, to make an archive uh, means to want to save your emails in your pc or any cloud drive so you can do this and if you are planning to delete that particular account so you can simply check this option delete sail the uh, that's showing my name so you can select this option if you want uh, to delete this yes i want to delete that account because I don't want to use that after that you need to click save changes now you need to go to your destination account and see all settings click here accounts click add an email account type that email Now type the app password which we have copied and make sure to remove the spaces. Rest all uh, try to remain as it is uh, just, check, uh, just check this option leave a copy if you have checked that option in the, your source account that you want a copy on your server but we have not checked that we want to delete that account so uh, we will go as it is yeah we can uh, tick this option so that we can see that email those emails come from uh, this payment at the rate hostiger.net after that I will click add account server denied pop3 uh, for the given username and password let me try one more time
and yes it has taken it so yes i want to be able to send mail as uh, this which i have labeled it so click next uh, enter the information about your other email address uh, let's say click next i am going with default because to be honest i don't know what to write in this option so click next before you can send mail as payment we need to verify that you own this email address send verification and yes i will verify it an email with the confirmation link sent to your payment at the rate let me check yeah that's the email which i have received copy link address i think i need to open in at this tab confirm that your yes i will confirm now let me close this window and you can see now payments at the rate hostrigger.net checking emails so it may take some time depending upon how many emails uh, you have uh, let's say i have the emails uh, 109 so it may take 5 to 10 minutes in my case if you have email in thousands so it may take more time so whatever time it takes i will pause this video to save your time so guys it has fetched all my emails uh, in 5 minutes it's showing 1 minute ago so now if i check my inbox so you can see i have received the emails uh, from which has labeled with the sorted date and time like what emails i received on what date not just randomly uh, when uh, we do the migration so it will migrate above all the emails of my previous emails irrespective of any date or time so it has not done that and if we visit this inbox so as expected as we check the inbox has been empty because we instructed the google workspace to don't uh, take any backup of the email on the server so that's how we migrate uh, we can't say migrate but we can say uh how do we transfer all our emails of gmail from one account to another account so that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching it till the end